Well, it's a little cool today, so I think I'm just going to hang out at the campsite and maybe do a few experiments. And one of them is about my cell phone signal. Because some of you probably know from a previous video that I use a WeBoost sleep drive on my cell phone. It does improve the signal quite a bit, and I use it with a little omnidirectional antenna, which I have on my trailer. And that works pretty good for me. But some have suggested that I need a directional antenna. So, courtesy of Amazon, I got this Wilson Electronics wideband directional antenna. So, seems like a really good day to figure out if it works. And there's this post at my campsite. I guess it's a critter post. You're supposed to hang your stuff from it and keeps it away from, I don't know, wild pigs or something. What do I know? In any case, I think it would be great for this antenna. The Wilson directional antenna comes with mounting hardware and an installation guide. However, the cable to hook it up to the booster is sold separately. Another thing I should have mentioned is this site is unique. I'm in Louisiana, which is usually pretty flat, but I'm actually at a hilltop. And in the distance over there is actually a cell tower. So I know it's there, I can see it. And apparently directional antennas are best when you can actually see the tower. So it's perfect. And this post is a little wide, so I'm gonna use my trusty broom handle, attach it, and then put it up there probably with a bungee cord. Well, I've got the antenna mounted on my broom handle and I've got also about 20 feet of cable. So the next step is just to mount it on this post with uh, a few bungee cords, which I have right here. I do plan to eventually mount it on the trailer, but this is just the testing stage. In order to compare the new directional antenna with my old one, as well as no antenna at all, I've set up this experiment so I could do all three together. So I've now got the directional antenna pointing to the cell tower, which is a few miles that direction. I have the old antenna, the omnidirectional one, right there at the peak of the trailer. And I've got the cell phone and the booster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down on the step and have another camera recording the signal strength as I compare all three. It'll be kind of live. Just move that back. There we go. The signal you see right now on the cell phone is without an antenna. It's just the cell phone itself and it's saying minus 108 decibels. So let's plug in the omnidirectional antenna. Give it a few minutes, or a few seconds at least, not minutes. And it's gone to 101 decibels. Okay, that's, that's a pretty good gain. That's a little bit of a gain. But let's go to the directional antenna. Ninety one. Impressive. But just to make sure oh, 90 just to make sure that's the best signal. I'm just going to move it slightly and we'll just see how that changes. Still 90. Ninety. I guess it's not as directional as I thought. Hmm. Everything's ninety. Well, then let's just turn it hundred and eighty degrees then. Okay, that definitely made a difference. Up to one hundred and six. So yes, it does matter where you point the directional antenna. 
I mean, yeah, that's a duh moment, but I just wanted to prove it. So 90, that's, that's pretty good. I'd say it's well worth it. So now I can figure out a way of actually putting this on my trailer. But I had to test it out first, and now I know. It's a winner. Well, now we're on the subject of cell phones and antennas and improving your signal and vlogging and all that fun stuff. I did want to mention one other device I've been experimenting with. I'm not really recommending it at this point, but I thought I'd tell you about it anyway. And it's this little guy here, and it's called a Verizon Ellipsis. It's a jetpack, and it's a MiFi, and whatever jargon you want to tell it, it's a black box, and that's all I need to know about. Now, just to give you a brief history of my vlogging the last little while, like last year when I was out on the road, all I had was my cell phone. I didn't have a booster or any fancy plan or anything like that, and it took me about eight hours to upload a 15 minute video. And once through, I think it was South Dakota, all day on an interstate to get a signal, I uploaded a video, eight hours, it got onto YouTube, and within minutes, uh, a viewer saw it and said, hey, you kind of made a mistake there. And I looked and yeah, I did. So took it down and it took another eight hours to get the better improved version of that video. So it was getting very, very frustrating trying to upload. So that's why this trip that I got the Wii Boost, so it boosts my signal and it does pretty good. I typically, I expect about two, two and a half hours to upload a video using the Wii Boost and I haven't tried it with the new antenna yet, but I will. However, in talking to Verizon and telling them my frustrations and all that, they recommended this little box. And what it does, it's a hot spot, so I can put several items on at the same time, but I really only use my phone on my laptop, so that's no big deal for me. But it's supposed to improve your uploading and your downloading. Downloading, don't care, don't watch videos or anything like that, but uploading is important to me. So, when I first connected this guy up, guess what? Nothing happened. Had to phone Verizon again, and they said, oh, well, you have to activate it when you're near a tower. So, I was out somewhere in the boonies, had to go into town, I activated. When I first did a video, 15 minute video, it went up in 23 minutes. Now that's like lightning to me. That was super fast. So that's great. Except there is a catch to all this. It only works if you're near a tower. If you're 20 miles away, this little box is completely useless. However, it is an advantage because now I can go into town, I can have a coffee, and in 23 minutes, my video is uploaded. So that's good enough for me. It's not free and it's not cheap on a monthly basis, but it does seem to work. So we'll see how that does in the next little while. In the first part of this video, I had a situation where I already had a little bit of a signal I just needed to boost it. But what if you're in a remote location like this and it shows you have no signal at all? Can you improve on it? Well, after several weeks of traveling, okay, well, several months of traveling, I thought it was time to retest the antennas and see how well they performed under different conditions. Now, I have the same antennas. I've got the omnidirectional, which I've got on the peak of my trailer. And I've got the unidirectional up a tree on a post over there. You can see it. Now the unidirectional, I already did some testing to find out what the best angle was. So it's just a matter of hooking it up to the Wii Boost and my phone and seeing what the results are. Now things are a little different here. In Louisiana, I was up on the top of a hill. I could see the cell tower and it was hot and humid. I'm now in North Dakota in the Badlands. It's cold. I'm in a valley and I cannot see the antenna. I know where it is and it's about the same distance as last time. It's about seven to 10 miles 
in that direction. So I'm going to hook it up, I'm going to film it, and you can see the results. For those who missed my WeBoost video, the way you find out the strength of your Android signal is to go to Settings, About Phone, Network, then Network Type and Strength. Without any auxiliary antenna, the cell signal is zero and shows no service. After plugging in the omnidirectional antenna included with the booster, I still had no signal. Finally, I plug in the directional antenna. This did give me a signal, however, not a strong one. It was, however, enough for me to check the weather and go to my YouTube dashboard and see what's happening. So instead of no signal at all, at least I had enough to get important messages and alerts Something greatly appreciated when you're alone in the backwoods. As mentioned in the first part, there was a third option, and that was the Verizon Jetpack. How well does it do in remote locations? And if you can see that, it says no service. So, doesn't do very well. It's really only for when you have a strong signal. Results can vary considerably. However, here's what I observed. Using the WeBoost and its supplied antenna, while I was perched on a hilltop in view of a cell tower, I had a 7 decibel signal gain, which is a lot less than in my previous video where I had 19 decibels, but that was a different circumstance. In comparison, using the directional antenna really made a significant gain of 19 decibels, resulting in an excellent signal strength. However, when I was in a valley and could not see the cell tower, I couldn't get any signal at all, and even the booster antenna didn't help. It was only with the directional antenna and the booster that I had a signal, and it was a weak one at that. As for the Verizon Jetpack, it certainly had its pros and cons. I liked the fast upload speed, which was seven times faster than a good normal 4G signal. But the advantage was only if you were near a cell tower. Great for the city, not so great in remote areas. Well, I fully admit that was a very biased review because I was really only interested in the things I needed to get online for, and that was checking to see what the weather report was, doing a little research online, and uh, uploading videos, which is very important to me. But I didn't get into emails or phone calls or text messages or streaming movies. So I guess you really have to understand how many decibels you need on your own phone to make things work for you. So hopefully I gave you a little information in that regard. But in future reviews, I'll try to be a little bit more extensive. I hope you enjoy this, and please check out my other videos as well.